As we have for the last several weeks, we want to take a moment to tell you about some of the remarkable people we've lost to the coronavirus pandemic. While some were known to the world, others were only known to their loved ones, but all made a big difference in their own way. Here are just some of the many lives to remember. Three, two, one. Okay, drop away. Aeronautical engineer Richard Passman was a pioneer whose top secret work helped change the course of the Cold War. When I was 18, I enlisted in naval aviation. A Navy training pilot in World War II, Passman would work on the Bell X-1, the first plane to break the sound barrier in 1947. And the Bell X-2, the first to achieve Mach 3. At GE, he helped develop the first spy satellite and did breakthrough work on missile warheads. He was a renaissance man, said his son Bill. He played piano, baked bread, and was married to his wife Minna for 70 years. Richard Passman was 94. Jesus Roman Melendez was a cook at one of New York's most acclaimed restaurants. For 20 years, he worked at Nougatine, run by renowned chef Jean-Georges Bongerichten. He was part of the glue that held everything and everyone together, Chef Jean-Georges said. Melendez, who came to New York from his native Mexico City in 1994, was the best dad, said his daughter Justin. He would come home from work tired, but always spend time with us no matter what. He was known for nurturing young cooks, said Chef Mark Lepico. He had a love for music, a razor-sharp wit, and a presence only wisdom and experience can afford a man. Jesus Roman Melendez was 49. Selma Esther Ryan died in this pandemic, more than a century after her older sister died in the Spanish flu pandemic at age five in 1919. They never met each other, Selma's daughter Vicki Spencer said, but they're together now. Selma grew up in Hernville, Texas, and married Bud Ryan, a fighter pilot in the Air Force. They had the love affair of the century, Vicki said. Everywhere we moved, she made us feel safe and secure. Selma Esther Ryan was 96. April Dunn was a fierce advocate for the disabled, who worked for Louisiana Governor John Bell Edwards' Office of Disability Affairs. Born with fetal alcohol syndrome and cerebral palsy, Dunn championed the marginalized at the state capitol. April didn't want her disability to limit her, said her mom, Jonette Dunn, who adopted April when she was five months old. April also loved to celebrate birthdays, her own and her co-workers, said her supervisor, Bambi Polizzola. Every day was a memory with April. April Dunn was 33. Haley Herrera was one class away from her master's degree in marriage and family therapy. She had a 4.0 average and had so much more to offer, her mother Valerie said. Friends went to her for advice. That's why she wanted to be a therapist. This virus is a devil in disguise, Valerie said. Never in a million years did I imagine I would lose my daughter. Haley Herrera was 25. Billy Birmingham was an emergency medical technician with the Kansas City, Missouri Fire Department, known for his big, warm heart. He had a presence about him and was always able to calm his patients, said Nathan Hopper, his ambulance partner. Birmingham was also a pastor who started his own church and a father of six who loved taking his kids on adventures. We just want to thank Kansas City as a whole for loving on my dad. Kansas City gave Birmingham a hero's send-off, a tribute that included a fire department escort, a flyover, and the sounding of a last alarm for its native son. The last alarm for Billy Birmingham has now ended. He has gone home. Billy Birmingham was 69.